Okay, guys, uh, it's been a few couple days. Um, got some more work done to the Predator 212 Hemi. Uh, we got the torque converter set up. Uh, we're still waiting for our header to come. Uh, you see, I've got my uh, spark tester uh, hooked up here. And we've actually gone ahead and installed the electric start. Uh, obviously, we'll have to make these wires uh, longer and, and route them and all that, that stuff. Um, but our starter is hooked up. Uh, we've relieved the flywheel cover. And uh, getting around the flywheel issue, uh, I actually found uh, this guy here. Uh, this is part number 170230S. Uh, and this will bolt directly up to the 6.5 Hemi. Um, it has the, the taper and everything to match. Uh, it goes right on. It's got the magnets inside for the um, for the charging coil, and it has the magnets on the outside uh, for the ignition coil as well. And I've got my gap set to, I believe, somewhere around 35-ish. I believe uh, 30 is the minimum. I think I've got it set to like th 35. Um, and all you need is a set of feeler gauges for that when you're installing that, that ignition coil. Um, I've gone ahead and put a small um, filter on for the breather um, with just a 90 degree elbow and uh, two hose clamps. Uh, I've got the um, uh, cold air intake, I guess, on here. Um, a 35 jet kit in there with the uh, new emulsion tube. Uh, yeah, so our plate we had to monkey with a little bit uh, because that coil was um, rubbing against there. We got a little bit of wear right there, but nothing that's um, going to hurt it. So, And we've just got a real quick um, lead set up here. And just want to ground right quick, but uh, to give you an idea, um, I'll turn this on and uh, it should crank right over. Now, there's no fuel in here. Um, obviously, we don't want to fishbowl the house, but uh, I'll go ahead and turn that and you'll be able to see that we do have spark. Uh, there is oil in here, by the way, so. Uh, we're good to go. So we're just going to wait for the header. Um, we'll get that. Well, what we're going to have to do is uh, we did get a trans for this, so we're going to have to see how we're going to mount this. And I actually went ahead. I didn't flip this uh, like I had intended to because this was going to go in the rear of the cart. Uh, but I'm thinking because the the space that it takes up um, is actually pretty pretty minimal. Um, and yeah, I, I didn't put the nut back on there, but that's okay. Um, uh, just for testing purposes, it's, it's fine. So um, I think what's going to happen is we're going to build some uh, kind of armature with a very short chain going to our trans, uh, then going to our um, to our, our our sprocket, and we'll put a jack. Uh, you know, we'll use that as a jack shaft. We'll put a pillow block on it, and um, it should all fit should is the operative word should all fit in the in the engine bay area instead of having to tube everything out so it looks like we're just changing everything um as we go but hey that's what you do right uh i had initially uh, thought about picking up uh, a non-hemi predator and switching the cam and crank over uh, just so that um, i could use the flywheel that i had but that seems uh, kind of self-defeating, um, considering that the Hemi was, you know, put together. I believe a lot of the internals are the same, but come on. I didn't want to rip everything apart to do that, so, yeah. I did have to relieve uh, the ear. I don't know if we can get in here to see, but I did have to relieve the ear on the other um, uh, fill cap. It's kind of hard to see uh, back there, uh, but it's fine. All in all, it's a pretty decent kit. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, 
the trans, and I'll I'll throw that nut on before I forget. Yowza. There we go. There's our washer. <clears throat> I'll throw a nut on there. When you put this uh, nut on, you have to be very careful not to crank down on this thing too hard because you will bend uh, this little uh, circlip here, this snap ring, um, and that can cause you all kinds of hate and discontent later on. So you're just you're just getting it on there enough to um, to lock this down, and and we'll do that uh, shortly. But uh, I do have now this guy here is the the I believe the 12 tooth sprocket that comes with uh, the kit, and this is your basic um, Comet knockoff, uh, Tab 2 knockoff. So what I did was I got this guy. Um, and you can see that's a three-quarter bore. I couldn't find anything with a uh, quarter inch on either side like this guy. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to have to take this down uh, to a quarter inch on this side and I might be able to, to get another quarter inch of this and put it on the other side. Uh, it is keyed so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I did pull the set screws out. Um, I'm not going to need those. But that should give me uh, enough to, um, to throw this guy in there. Um, because that'll give me a little more, that'll give me a little more, uh, 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 that'll give me a higher ratio. However, thinking about it, because this is going to go to the trans, I may keep this, because I believe it's a one-to-one -one going to the trans, and then maybe on the output of the trans, I can put this guy, um, and I may not have to machine it at all, depending upon where it comes. I haven't looked at the trans yet. I'm going to do that. Uh, here shortly, and I guess uh, uh, we'll just do a quick unboxing of that. But yeah, this is what it is. Now, just a word of advice. Um, these engines, they are, some of these um, these threads are metric, and some are standard. The threads that you get with this, um, or this, I'm sorry, the bolts that you get with this kit, chuck them. They're no good. Uh, instead, go to Home Depot or uh, or uh, Lowe's or, or your local hardware store. You're going to get five sixteenths by twenty four, and you can get them. I believe I got them in an in an inch. This is five sixteenths by twenty four, and you want to get about an inch and three quarter. Um, uh, yeah, an inch and three quarter. Now this one. Uh, has a longer shoulder. It's not actually an inch and three-quarter. I think it might be like two inches. That's all I could get, but it, it, it's fine. Um, the, the crank does allow for it, so I got lucky. But yeah, so um, for your starter, they're going to be M6s uh, with a one pitch um, for uh, back here. Uh, also for your... Um, your pickup coil and your charging coil. They're all M6s uh, by one. And then, like I said, these are five, I don't know why, but these are 5 sixteenths uh, by 24. Uh, if you try to put the supplied bolts in there, you're gonna bug up your threads. And uh, this is aluminum. We don't wanna do that because it's gonna be really hard to fix it if you screw that up. So 5 sixteenths by 24, um, they're about an inch. Uh, for these, uh, and this one is between one and three quarter and, and two inches. It'll accept it. So, all right, um, that's pretty much it. Once I get the header, we'll take her outside. We'll, we'll put some gas in her. We'll get her fired up and um, see how she runs. Uh, and then we'll change the uh, the oil. So we have this this plug here that I think I'm gonna. Uh, I'm probably going to, whatever I mount it on, I'm going to have to make an access for that to, to get under to drain that out. Um, and then there's one there. 
as well. So, and don't forget that you're going to have to shave this down um, on that side. And of course, uh, these are marked. So for the 6.5, it's always these middle holes. Um, you'll see when you, when you get it out of the box. So I'll see you in a little bit, and we'll open up the trans uh, together and see what it looks like.